want to ask about the epitaph of Twilight. The epitaph of Twilight. That information won't be cheap. His voice sounds familiar. <gasps> Looking for this? Do you know how much you're worth? What? 2.5 million Wulongs, that's your bounty. I said you were a small fry. You look surprised. You look ridiculous in that outfit. Hello and welcome back to Dot Hack Mutation. In that last video, we went to go see what Balmung was up to, found another blinding white room, got the Epitaph 01, and still don't really have answers, as Balmung is always standoffish, but will melt that icy heart, I promise you. And then we went and fought uh, a Golden Gob race. That was all four of them. We have a full armor set of the Goblin Golden A stuff. And then uh, I don't know what we're supposed to do next. So we're coming back to check our mail and see if we can't get any more words and ending further the story, essentially. So without further ado, let's check my mail. There we go. We got some from Leos. We got some from Black Rose. And Natsume. We asked her about Lord of the Rings, and oh god, is she gonna tell us? What's it about? Is it interesting? Um, I don't want to spoil the story, but it's a fantasy novel. I just really love it. Fantasy novels? Yeah, is she like a librarian? Can you tell me a little more about Lord of the Rings? But no spoilers. <laughs> smiley face. We're gonna send a smiley face. Women love that. <laughs> Black Rose reply from 01. Forwarding you the reply from 01. What I wrote on the board is all of the information that I have about Epitaph of Twilight. I don't know anything more. And these are all from a player called Wise Man. He is kind of stubborn, so instead of me being in the middle, man, it would go smoother if you talk to him directly. He's usually around the area, dazzling sage's architect. Let's go meet Wise Man. We're going to do what we can, right? Yeah, I guess. I guess we should go do what we can. Alright. I go see a Wise Man, see what Leos is saying. Stand by. Due to your actions, there is a significant increase in our workload. Stand by for a while. No matter what happens, do not move. Don't tell me what to do, Leos. I'm a big man. <laughs> End of the world. See if there's any board posts. If not, it looks like the only thing we're doing is going to go see a wash man. It looks like we're just going to go see wise man. Me, Black Rose, probably Marlo. So I think he's still the lowest level party member. Uh, she's not around here, so let's go ahead and invite her down. Uh, Black Rose, there she is. Okay, here I come. And let's go ahead and head. Marlo. Almost at 39. Oh, all right. Keep your pants on. <laughs> Too late. Uh, now I'm kind of torn, though, because... Yeah? What's I, up? I have Mimaru's sword, which is for Blade Master, and I'm thinking about giving it to Black Rose. I think that's definitely something I should... I can't use it. It's just going to take up space in my storage for whatever reason. So I think giving Black Rose Mimaru's sword would be like the way to go. But of course it is in my storage taking up space. So let's go get it. Uh, also, what's her... She probably needs an equipment update. 22. She's about to get a new weapon. I don't even know if she's going to use it or not. Midnight Helm could be better. Ebony Armor could be better. Hands of Ronin are pretty good as is. Spite Guard's pretty good. Maybe get a new helmet and 
armor or chest piece, which I think I have one in my storage already for her. It'd be just a matter of finding like what I've given Marlo over here with the Devil's Helm. I'm actually finding these items now too uh, in trades with other players. Like Able Hands, I've seen multiple times. Uh, Armor of Hell and Devil's Helm just were very fitting for Marlo and the way his character looks. So I was like, I gotta give him, give him these. And I'm sure we can get them from other players too, because we've already traded the trading player for it, so now we're gonna start seeing it everywhere that we worked and earned to unlock them. However this works. Anyways, I'll be right back. All right, we're back. Uh, I'm just gonna let you watch me give Black Rose yeah. what? Mimaru sword. You sure I can really have this? I, uh, um, thank you. Yeah. That's what we waited for. That line of dialogue. And bam, now she's gonna be rocking Mimaru's sword. Already has a Mimaru skin. That's just slightly different color. And uh, it's a pretty, pretty strong sword. We found a better chest piece for her, however, we did not find a better helmet. Uh, but we did find some better boots for Marlo, so Marlo is just getting stronger. Anyways, we're gonna move on now. To our word list, to a dazzling sages, architect. According to O1, wise man who has knowledge about the epitaph of twilight is in this area. So we're gonna go see on level 42 area water. Marlo's probably gonna struggle here. Made sure to save it. I saved it before giving Mimru's sword to Black Rose too. Look at this place, so magical. All right, uh, let's get our fairy's orb. Oh man, let's go over here. Ep vocals. Yes, let's get our fire elemental up in this water area. Everybody, strengthen. Okay, Black Rose has a Gorf, too. She's gonna do it again. Give it to Marlo. Marlo gives her accuracy. Marlo gives me accuracy. Marlo gives her accuracy. Bam, and everybody is stronger than they once were. What's this grunty food? Cordyceps! Alright, let's go fight this. Let's go fight him. Oh my god, these guys are huge. Everybody use the skills. Starving ogres, the magic tolerant. Oh, I should have dreamed that one. Oh, I definitely need to heal. Use a potion. And then I'm going to data drain this guy, because I've never data drained one of these before. Virus core E, very nice. And then we'll take out this Moonlighter. I need to heal. That grows a poison, that's what these guys are. They can get out of here with that poison. Just gonna go straight skills and Thunder Dance. It doesn't have an elemental. Uh, I'm not gonna data drain the Moonlighter, because we have data drained a Moonlighter before. I'd much rather get the experience. Yeah, took out that little bunny thing. What do we get? The moon! And ice flow. When you use skills, we are going to heal. Arlo. Alright! I'm just gonna do first aid and let you guys heal, because you don't really have a whole lot of life missing. Well, there you go. That was the first portal. I'm really gonna be uh, on edge about what I'm gonna be fighting next, but I'll see you in the last portal.
Or if there's a spring around here. I don't think there is, though. Anyways, be right back. Alright, going into our last battle here on the field. And it's right next to the dungeon. Which is just oh so convenient for us. We've kind of been just been fighting the same monsters over and over again. It's just been either these guys, Starving Ogres, or um, the moths that we fought in the first portal. And then uh, some scorpion tanks, which were not difficult at all. And they were so high level, we were able to get Marlow from level 39 up to, where is he at now? 41, so he went up in two levels, just in this field alone, which is great. Because we still got a dungeon to conquer, and I guarantee it can probably get him to 42, if not very close. And maybe somewhere in the middle of like 43, which is going to be good. He's going to be up there with uh, the rest of them. And we can switch around and have a little variety in our party mix-up. In our little, little, uh, party bag. Alright, I'm just gonna let them heal me. And then we're gonna go into this uh, dungeon. And go dungeoning. Dungeoneering. Looking for that uh, wise man. See if we can find out more about the Twilight of Epitaph. Uh, items. Let's go in Fairy's Orb. Alright. Oh, it's a double portal room. Oh, uh, hey, here's something new. Franken. Oh, he's got death. That's terrible, especially when he partners with this, uh... What do you call it? Ogre guy. Because the ogre guy has critical. Protection broken, I'm gonna go ahead and just Oh they killed him. Never mind. Alright. I should have had him do that too. Ooh, hit us with that first day. The fool. forward to see what's coming out next. Oh, is that Frankens? Oh, my God. I'm going to have to play the part of healer here. Deadly combination with those Frankens. And then you just mix in uh, something that casts poison. Makes it so much more worse. Healing potion, Marla. Alright, I need to go around. Since you guys are dark and I have light skills. It's nice and quick. Alright, I'm gonna deal with the poison causers. And still sticking with healing. Black Rose. so they can heal themselves. We're gonna do this.
What's this? Risky. I should have gotten more fortune wire. And some more healing potions. Gloves of Dark. Oh, we've got three of those so far. I data drained somebody and got that Karen weapon for Heavy Blades, level 26. Ooh. It's gonna go great to somebody who's a Heavy Blade. Who's not Black Rose. She's gonna be rocking the Mimaru sword until the end of this series. Don't know if that's gonna be true. That, that's probably not gonna be true. Frank, I'm taking out. I gotta go around and kill these Frankens. Since I got a Thunder Dance, it's gonna be a lot easier for me to take them out than it is for them. I need to heal myself. Tell them to use skills. I don't have enough to use my Thunder Dance. Pretty heavy-handed fights. And I was complaining last video that the last uh, dungeon that we went to wasn't that thrilling, wasn't that exciting. We're getting it now. We are getting it now. In the depth of it. Uh, let's go ahead and strengthen. because that takes a huge chunk. I just think there's a Franken over here. I can't see what that is. It is a Franken. Boom, hit him with that elemental hit. Uh, everyone use your skills. to heal. Need it. Um, there we go. First aid, everybody. Drop myself 
a major soul. We're heading into this next battle. Bear can't take. Bear can't take. We're going to take you now. Uh, here we go. Hit this guy with that thunder dance. Tell everyone to use their skills so we can take out this moth. Too bad it doesn't have an elemental to take it down a lot quicker if it did. First aid. Gloves of dark, so many of them. I'm gonna have to do like some serious storage management. My storage is about to be full. We don't really need them as much to trade anymore, so now I think it's getting to the point where I'm gonna like sell everything and then 99 out of all of my uh, adventuring equipment gets 99. Fortune wires, 99 healing potions, 99 at all. Because my team is pretty well equipped. And I mean, every time we go into one of these dungeons, we just come back with so much gear. Pure water. I'm trying to remember where we're at on pure water. It's like holy sap, pure water, and burning oils it seems to be the three that we are constantly getting. Like our story missions are mainly taking us to those elements. And not to the ones. For the other things that we need. Fireball storm. A la moon. Flame blast. Alright. We're good, we're ready to go to the second floor. We struggled our way through the first floor, but it was a fun struggle. Had a good time. It's a good thing I have Thunder Dance. Um, uh, there's up. It's a big place. Don't worry guys, I got this one of Thunder Dance. And it's out. Where is the... Is it only two floors? Maybe there's another thing further up. So we'll go this way. Bad can't take. Bad can't take. I don't think I have enough of yous. So I'm glad to take more of yous. Alright, what do you got for me? What are we fighting? Somebody leveled up too. Uh, let's go to, to the north. It's probably gonna be a break room. It was all right. Get a nice storm. Oh, all of our strength is starting to go away. Hey, look at that! We're getting the antidotes, and it's, it's, we can actually take them. And to get our antidotes back to 99. Mimics came through and uh, drained a lot of my antidotes. I'm going to use strength and ability, but I'm going to do it when we are just getting ready to go into an encounter room. Hey, another break. Chest at the back. Pure water. Give me more. Give me so much more of those pure waters and healing potions. Definitely could use those. The moon. Ice flow. I came across a person who was trading something that was like a high level 50 item, and they were looking for something called an ice bar. And I've never seen an ice bar before, or even know what it was, and they wanted just one of it. Which makes me think that maybe it's like a weapon or equipment item of some kind. It sounds like it would be. But they wanted this like high, maybe it wasn't level 50, but it was like a high level 20 axe. 
and if I used Pyros more often. Maybe I'd look further into this. All right, so before we go in, let's go ahead, everybody strengthen. Strengthen myself. Black Rose has the same strength and ability that I have. And normally, Twin Blades don't have strength and abilities. So it's always a positive thing when we do. That lag is making me nervous. Oh, skills with them. Oh, there's two of you guys over here. Hey, how's it going? like crazy if I do it. And I want that to build up. We really need my SP. Alright, good. There's a down further up. Something with a bunch of uh, yeah, trees attacking me. First stage, guys, hit me up. Save me. Thank you. All right, let's get this last portal of floor two. Well, here it is. A uh, druid witch. All right, Frankie, come here, you. Oh, get out of here. Oh, and uh, the druid. 
it to put people to sleep. It's my heal ability. It does cure sleep. Go ahead, first stage yourselves. Alright. Now for the spoils. And then we go down to the third basement. Which uh, should be the last part. The moon. Restorative. Uh, antidote. The moon again. to the third part of this basement. The last part of the basement. Maybe. I don't know if they've go any further than three. The highest I've seen is three. Um, uh, 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 Ferris Orb. I wonder if they have like a mega dungeon. 99 levels. Just gets tougher and tougher the further you go. Alright, level three. Here we go. It's a giant big eyes. Uh skills. This thing will be weak against fire. I have black rope. Just cast the same thing everybody else is casting. Black roll, hit the big eyes. State, everyone. Hands of Ebony. That might be something good. What is it? It is for... Okay, that's why I recognize it. That's what Black Rose had on before I gave her better gloves. Great teamwork. They're all doing amazing. Alright, so that giant room that's got nothing in it, I take it, is where we're gonna find Wiseman. So we're gonna explore the other areas first. Let's get this druid! Get her! I'm the witch! Boom and black robes! Oh, I thought she was gonna level up. Uh, first aid. back there. I'm gonna go here because the statue's over here. I'm gonna wait to strengthen until we get closer to that room with the last portal in it. Until then, we're just gonna take it easy. We're gonna check some boxes. We're gonna break this skeleton. Try to extract the pure water if it had any. We're gonna open this up. We're gonna hopefully get something really good. Segmentart. Segmentart. Yellow candy. And yellow candy. Yellow candy is always great. At least it didn't give me a mage soul like that one. Uh, what is a segment art? Oh, wow. It is a level 52 body armor. Which is for a non-wave master character like myself. I'm sure that's the kind of stuff that I wear. Where are we at? We got a lenient curse on me. Yeah, I use the non-wave master stuff. Bam. Oh, this thing only gives me greens. We lose Tech Corv, which is decreasing target's attack, which we have been really doing too well. We lose our Fire Tornado, but we gain decreased target's accuracy and a Thunder Tornado. Not quite a bad trade-off. Um, our Magical Defense goes up by one, our Magical Accuracy goes up by one, and then our Health and Spirit also go up by one. It's not like a big, huge, huge leap, but everything kind of stays the same. It's all green, so of course I'm going to equip it. Very nice. If I can decrease the target's accuracy, that's always cool, too. Aha, no. You're just going to struggle to hit me. Ha ha. I'm Kite the Twin Blade. Ha ha. Strengthen up. I will do the same. And pull up.
And let's prepare for the last fight. Oh, there's the witch. Oh, I lost my thing. Wait, don't, don't do it. I want a data trainer. Let me data trainer. Yeah. We got a blood suit. <laughs> and it's a fairy now. Uh, oh, there's another witch over there. It's a big enough area too where I think it's like I'm gonna be fighting something like wise man's gonna be getting something big. Recovery drink. That's new. What's the recovery drink? Oh, restores 800. Nice. Yeah, more of those please. We're getting to that part of the game now. We're, we're becoming that. That's yeah, another one. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> We are so far into the game with our levels that recovery drinks are going to be a thing. Restore eggs. Pure water. Get some bear cat egg. Get that ice flow. That healing potion. The full the full again. Restorative. And an antidote. Oh, we're at 99 antidotes again. There we go. Antidotes back to max. Thank you for today. Oh, okay. Not a fight. Nice doing business with you. to trade as well. Maybe. Um, I want to ask about the epitaph of Twilight. The epitaph of Twilight. That information won't be cheap. His voice sounds familiar. This is business, supply and demand. I'll give it on condition. What kind? Let me see. Give me some time. I'll give you the details by mail. All right. I understand. We'll wait, so make it cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exchanges are like that. Must be a wave, master. Well, okay. It's kind of anticlimactic. In the end, it was just like, hey, you found me. Oh, you want to know more information? Well, you got to do something for me. What is it? Eh, I send you a mail piece and you can read about it. So there we have it. That was our, our exciting, uh, thrilling joyride of an adventure to go find a wise man who has now sent me some mail that I have to go read. You know, maybe I'm not going to end it just now. I think we should actually get out of here and then go read the mail that he sent all in one video instead of kind of sparsing this out into two videos, but I'm going to save before we do that. Save member card slot one. Ooh, Ooh level 46. Nice. Let's go ahead and log on out. Oh, before I log out, where did Marlo get to? He got to level 43. Look at that. So close to level 44. Where's Black Rose at? She's at level 45. Very nice. Very nice. Did he get past? Uh, well, I guess we'll find out another time. Uh, I want to see if he's, like, higher level than some people in my party. He might be. Mia, I think, will probably be the low person on the totem board. As she normally is. 
Let's go check that mail piece, see what a wise man has sent us. There it is, but Natsume's also replied back about Lord of the Rings. Can you tell me a little more about Lord of the Rings? But no spoilers. It's a trilogy out in paperback. It's very interesting and deep. Each book is just filled with story. You just get sucked into its world. I won't go into details about it though. Smiley face. See? See what I mean? The women like their smiley face. Three books? That seems like a pain to read, but I kind of want to read it now. Or, no way, I can't read something that long. No, we're going to do three. This is three books. You're going to read all three books. That seems like a pain to read, but I kind of want to read it now. It's a spot on kite impression, don't you think? Wise man, exchange. What do they got? I will get right to the point. The Spark Sword is somewhere in Blooming Promised Walkway. I will exchange information about Epitaph of Twilight for it. Alright, I gotta go get an item from Blooming Promised Walkway. Sounds like a fun time, right? And it's gonna be a fun time in the next video. Anyways, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next game of Dodhack Mutation. Goodbye.